Hello, everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you, thanking you and praising you, Lord, for the Sabbath day that you have given us. Thank you for this day of rest, Lord. Thank you for your peace and your comfort. Thank you for the strength that you gave us to endure one more week, Lord. I thank you and I praise you, Father, because your promises are true. I thank you and I praise you for giving us the strength that we need to do the things that we need to do. Father, may all that we do bring honor and glory to you. May you always give us the strength to work for you, to work for our families, to use the gifts that you have given us to further your kingdom. Help us, Lord, not to grow weary and tired. Help us to rely on you for all of our needs. Father, these things I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Is There a Seed in You? It was written by Deifa Infante and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base comes from Mark chapter 4, verses 26 through 28. So says the word of God. And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up, he knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, and after the full corn in the ear. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. A flower. Nothing like the softness and color of its petals. Its aroma is indescribably pleasant. But what is the flower but a step in its transition to the final goal? To be fruitful. This is the kind of fruit that God said was very good and fit for food. Now what is the life of a servant, disciple of the Lord, if, having flourished, he does not advance to the next stage? May they be as fruitful as flowers. As disciples of the Lord, we must not settle by looking at our life and seeing what we have achieved or accomplished with our talents, good works, and recognition. Our life will be worthwhile only when our fruits have dropped seeds that will ensure the next generations of faithful servants. If your life is good, it will bear fruit, and if indeed that fruit was begotten of the Holy Spirit, the unequaled proof will be your generational footprint in this world, converted and consecrated lives that love the Lord in spirit and in truth. Good fruits, whose holy seed awaits the moment of begetting the next generation, whether or not there will be a church or genuine believers for tomorrow will be in part up to you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, what I believe this devotional is trying to communicate is that the work that we do for the Lord, we need to be fruitful. We can't just be complacent with the gifts and talents and skills that the Lord has given us, with the spiritual gifts that the Lord has given us. We can't just hide under a rock and do nothing. We must use the gifts that God has given us to further his kingdom. Whether your gifts are in front and center, preaching, directing, singing, all of those things, or your gifts are behind the scenes, we must be using the gifts and talents that God has given us to further his kingdom. I do believe that we plant the seed, but also God makes that seed grow. We can plant many, many seeds, but not all of them will grow. And we shouldn't be discouraged when we don't see the growth as quickly as we think that we should. 
Our job is to plant the seed. Our job is to spread the gospel. Our job is to use our gifts and our talents for the Lord. It's God's job to make those seeds grow. You may plant the seed, and then someone may come along later on down the road and nourish that seed, water it. And then somebody else may come along after that second person and prune it. We all have a part in reaching others for the gospel. My encouragement to you today is to do your part. Don't be complacent sitting at home and not doing anything. Step out of your comfort zone and use the gifts and skills that God has given you to further his kingdom. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. To the work, to the work, we are servants of God. Let us follow the path that our Master has trod. With the balm of his counsel, our strength to renew. Let us do with our might what our hands find to do. Toiling on, toiling on, toiling on. Toiling on, toiling on, toiling on, toiling on. Let us hope and trust, let us watch and pray, and labor till the Master comes. To the work, to the work, let the hungry be fed. To the fountain of life, let the weary be led. In the cross and its banner our glory shall be, while we herald the tidings, salvation is free. Toiling on, 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 toiling on. Let us hope and trust, let us watch and pray, and labor till the Master comes. To the work, to the work, there is labor for all, for the kingdom of darkness and error shall fall. And the name of Jehovah exalted shall be, in the loud swelling chorus salvation is free. Toiling on, 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 toiling on. Let us hope and trust, let us watch and pray, and labor till the Master comes. Amen, what a beautiful song. And now we invite you to, to check out our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for the daily Bible reading, which can be found in Exodus chapter 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Amen. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.